about moving on to the like the, the, the just the appetizer before we get to that main event, get, get to that steak dinner, baby. We're gonna get into we got to see Sheeta versus Rebel in, in a interesting match tonight. Yeah. Um, you know, knowing that this was the first and only time we got to see Sheeta in the ring leading up to her match against Britt. Yeah, it's surprising. How did that how did this hit for you, man? Well, it it did everything it needed to do. You know, I think Sheeta is better than what what happened in this match, but it did everything it needed to do to provide a build for the uh, title match and for Britt to win the title. So, um I thought <laughs> I thought Rebels shenanigans were absolutely hilarious. Always so I, I funny. Thought she, you know, she's getting better and better. The little like dance she was doing and like the faking of the injury and then all everything she needed to do was perfect. And um and, and then mostly obviously it was just it was just the lead up to the to what happened after the match. And mm-hmm. it was a short segment. I'm glad they didn't milk this and put it on a you know picture in picture or anything like that. But having Britt stand tall with the title and then that awesome curb stomp on the title, which was A+. plus, That was fantastic. Um, fantastic way to lead and get us excited for Double or Nothing. Mm-hmm. And surprisingly, I mean, like we won't go too far into Double or Nothing. This is the only women's match on there. And it's going to be the most important because it will be a title change in all of our opinions. Um, as of now, unless they throw something on the buy-in show. But this this told its story. It had its spot. We, it had some funny shenanigans, uh, but unfortunately, it didn't do any any good for Sheeta. It just made her look to me like a weaker opponent. When she, I know she's better than that. That image that you had up there on the screen is all that really mattered in this segment. That's what this was all about. True. Right? I'm not like, even that, talking about the match. We got to see the visual of Britt standing over the fallen champion with the belt in her hand. Um, and that's what it was all about. That's what this segment was. That's that was the the focal point of Reba Rebel versus Sheeta in this matchup. Right. That was what AEW was trying to accomplish. Yep. Um, you know, it's interesting because me, I'm like you know me, dude. I love me some DMD, and I and I well, I'm I'm as big of a mark for Brit as it gets. Um, you don't say. But, but you put a wager on the line. You know, if she loses, I, you have to do a spray tan. I have to get a spray tan. I, that's how confident I am that she's going to win. Um, but all that's being said, I'm going to shock you here. I feel like AEW should have used this opportunity to 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 go the other way. Um, Britt has been firmly established as mm-hmm. a, the top contender. I mean, Britt, Britt has a huge following behind her. We know, you and I both know, we're not alone. The DMD bandwagon is is it's got it's miles deep now. There's people have been people are climbing on board to get on board the DMD Express, and she's through her pursuit of becoming number one contender has racked up W after W after mm-hmm. W. She's been on fire, um, right. and she's had every opportunity whether it's promos, whether it's matches. She's been featured plenty, and she's mm-hmm. looked great, plenty. Mm-hmm. I really feel like with Sheeta being so free, infrequently used on right. AEW television, they should have leaned into really establishing her as a strong champ. Give her, give Sheeta the respect and the due that she deserves for. I agree for all that she's done, and it, leading into Double or Nothing, it would have been powerful to have Sheeta really come like a stat, like you know triumphant at in this segment i feel like it would have been like if fighting brit and and she and rebel off right True. you know outsmarting them so that when when brit wins and has that visual of holding the belt over the champ it's a it's a moment that again has that much more like i guess importance to it because we as True. fans the last visual we had was she to standing triumphant i, I think that yep. there's a lot of things that go into that i, I personally and i and it feels weird saying it because to me i you know brit should be brit is the top i, I honestly believe brit is a top three star in the entire company regardless of of the division or whatever i think that brit is as marketable and bankable yeah, of a star right. in the entire company segment after segment after segment but I think that they 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 needed to to lean into showcasing yeah. Sheeta 
in a more positive light leading into double or nothing. We have yeah. we've seen so little of our champ, and you've been talking about that, SPD. I know that I'm preaching to the choir here, dude. Like you have been saying over and over again, where is our champion? Where is like the division needs to be represented by the champ? Where is she? And We're now five we months finally, in, and I think she's what three and zero. Oh? Yeah, oh? we finally had an opportunity to see Sheeta in the ring, and it just you know. Yes, she won, but it just the visual at the end is Brit standing tall over her and, yeah. and, and stomping her face into the belt. You know, it's just like True. I don't know. I I I have more respect for Sheeta as an in-ring competitor than that. I think that she, even though we haven't had a chance to see her a lot, every time I see Sheeta in the ring, I think that she's, you know, she's a she's a fighting, she's got that warrior spirit. I love yeah. her striking. Um, I just think it would have been a nice touch to kind of reestablish Sheeta as the top as the champ for a reason and, and have her look convincing and dominant heading into the double or nothing rather than looking this vulnerable I don't know especially if they're going to do what I hope they do and that's transition the belt over to Brit they will know, so. they will but you know like in the chat you know they're doing that Sheeta celebration next week for her longest title run you know so they're going to do it fresh you know two days before um, but yes, I agree. I think it would have been keep the dominance running so you have a more shocking finish when the when the titles do change. Um, but it did tell the story. Um, it was a short segment, um, unfortunate, but you know we'll, we'll get the high not a, note. Not even, a, not even, a, yeah, not even unfortunate, right? Just maybe yeah. like an interesting decision, right? Because like it's not unfortunate. Like it went well. It, 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 it true. It's, you know, it, it the visual again. I think that. They're definitely testing the waters of Britt Baker, like how the crowd's going to react. Um, you know, and for those people who were there live at, at Double or Nothing or at, at Dynamite tonight, I have a feeling like, you know, there were some pops. You know, although like everybody loves Sheeta as champ, there were some cheers for Britt. Um, mm-hmm. I I, I want to see what the reaction will be at Double or Nothing in front of a jam packed, uh, 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 you know, crowd. Yeah. If She'll she's going to get the pop that I think she's she's going to get. We'll see.